NFL Sports Director Brad Johansson with the stories behind the scores. Evening, everyone. Reds are taking a rather important trip this week. Seven interdivision games before the All-Star break as they begin the night. Five and a half games back. Losers of four straight and in danger of dropping out of the central race. Reds get started in the first off Roy Oswald. He just happens to be a guy they've never beaten. All-star Aaron Boone with a shot to center. That'll bring home Adam Dunn. But Jose Guillen bites off a little too much going to third, and this will end the inning. And it was the third that caused problems for Ryan Dempster, who has only two wins all season. One of them here in Minute Maid Park walked Oswald on four pitches. He has 60 walks in 96 innings. Ah, oh, make that 61. Walks Biggio. Then it's Jeff Blum's turn. Bouncer off Casey's face. Uh, base is juiced. Bagwell with a dribbler to third now. And your all-star Boone will boot it. Oswald will score, ties the game at one. Berkman strikes out, but Hidalgo uh, didn't. He gets a hold of one. Deep to the gap in left center. That will unload him. Three-run double, 4-1 Strohs. Oh, yeah, and then he had problems in the next inning. Eric Bruntlett had never hit a major league home run. He has now. Two-run shot, 6-1 Strohs. Reds offense non-existent. The only other thing we're seeing is Junior looking like the old Junior in center. Over-the-shoulder highlight off Hidalgo. But the Reds lose their fifth straight. 7-1 is your final. Now sports director Brad Johansson with the stories behind the scores. Evening, everyone. The Reds have matched their season high with five straight losses. They're admittedly playing their worst stretch of baseball all year long, and yet tonight they have a chance to gain a game on three teams ahead of them in the Central. Just like Monday night, the Reds got on the board first. Adam Dunn in the second. Ah, goodbye. 412. 25th on the year. One zip Reds. Scary moment at the bottom of two. Richard Hidalgo rips a foul into the Reds' dugout. Drills coach Ray Knight in the head. He goes down. Treated in the clubhouse. Able to return to the bench later on. And while he was gone, Morgan Ensberg for the second time in as many nights with a big one. This one, a two run shot is 17th. Strohs take a 2 1 lead, and the Reds fight back Larkin in the fifth. Larkin up the middle, two out rip. That'll bring home D'Angelo Jimenez with his first run as a Red, all tied at two. It was 3 2 Strohs in the sixth when Jimmy Haynes looked to finish his first 1 2 3 inning, but Barry Larkin throws a routine grounder high. Adam Everett safe. And here we go. Pinch hitter Orlando Merced to right. Austin Kearns dives, grabs it. Loses it on the ground. He's in for Casey, who pulled a groin. Everett scores 4-2. Then Craig Biggio looking for more. Base hit to right. Here comes Kearns. He's coming up, throwing to the plate, and it is offline. Kelly Stinnett back down to second. That one will get away. Run scores. Biggio would score later. Junior then would add a meaningless solo shot. His ninth. Reds lose their sixth straight. The Pirates have caught them for fourth place. 6-3, the final. Torrential rains in Cincinnati while the Reds stay safe and dry under the dome in Houston, at least from the rain. Losers of six straight, the last two against Houston. Believe me, roof or not, this team is drowning in a hurry. Game started at 8.05, game over by 8.30. Top of one, Lance Berkman to the gap in right center, and he's going to be running for a while. Jeff Blum will score on a triple, one nothing Astros. Richard Hidalgo will then dump one to right. Lance Berkman can score easily from third on that. It's two to nothing. Still in the first, base is loaded for Adam Everett. And Granny's going hunting in a big way. Can you feel the rain yet, Cincinnati? Six zip after one. Red's offense uh, continues to be non-existent, so let's just watch the Astros offense. Greg's on in the fifth, man on. Say goodbye, Greg. It's eight nothing. You say you want to see a Red's highlight, huh? Okay, fine. Junior in the sixth. Reaching and out, his right second field, meaningless homer in as many nights. His 10th on the year, yee it's 8-1. Okay, enough Reds, back to the Astros. Berkman off that super call of Todd Van Poppel, and that may be the longest home run ever hit in Minute Maid Park. Two-run shot, it's 11-1. But wait, how about let's throw one more pitch? Richard Hidalgo. Okay, have you had enough? Seven losses in a row. 12-2 is your final tonight. Evening, everyone. The Reds haven't been swept in a four-game set in Houston since 1971. Now, before we bring you the highlights, here's some astro get nomical numbers to whet your appetite for the entertainment that's to follow. Let's look at the Reds' first inning this year. They've given up a major league worst 75 runs in the opening frame, and that includes the six yielded by Danny Graves Wednesday night. Well, tonight's starter, Paul Wilson, he's the worst of the bunch. In the first, relinquishing 24 runs over 17 starts. And if he gets past the first, he's given up only just 33 runs in all 87 other innings. Let's go to the leadoff hitter, Craig Biggio, tonight. 
Grounder to Ray Almeido in for the injured Barry Larkin. That's major league leading 86 there. First inning entertainment has begun. Jeff Blum to left center in front of Junior for a simple single. Jeff Bagwell follows with a line shot over the leaping boom to left, and that'll score Biggio at one to nothing. Now, after a walk to Lance Berkman to load him up, Richard Hidalgo inside the bag. That will carry him off the stands into a short left. The double to left will bring home Blum, Bagwell, and Berkman. It's four to nothing. And we've only just begun. Hey, Morgan Ensberg's up next. Soft flare to right field here. And then Brad Osmus. He picks a different field. This one is center. Richard Hidalgo comes down five to nothing. Adam Everett's up next, and I choose left field. Excellent choice. Ensberg's in. Six to nothing. Now, Winslin's thrown 41 pitches without getting an out. Six runs so far. Six hits. Enter John Reedley. Loaded again. Blum again. Center this time. Osmus, Everett, you're welcome home. Nine runs in the first. Uh, this is our Reds highlight of the night. Junior with his third irrelevant home run in as many days. It's nice to see him hitting again while they're getting drilled. And one more picture to close the eight-game losing streak. Brian Hunter to right center. Reggie Taylor. Great catch, except he gets drilled by Jose Guillen, who knocks him silly and the ball loose. It's really hard to believe that it can get worse, isn't it? 11-2 is your final.